Hi there. I have one of those new MacBook Pros with the M1 chip, and overall I'm super satisfied with this laptop. It's powerful, it does things fast, I like it, but there has been something that's been a thorn in my side. I do a lot of creative work, and having just one external monitor has been a pain. Now, I had tried using these type of dongles, uh, so you got USB-C with HDMI on the side. Uh, I've tried plugging in like two of those and I found that it only supports one external monitor at a time. So then I went online and I bought multiple adapters that were hubs that also had HDMI connectors on them. And many adapters said they supported things like display link technology and supposedly it would allow you to have multiple monitors on your new M1 chip Max. And sadly, uh, I bought two of them and neither of them worked. So I've watched YouTube videos, I've read several blogs, and I'm just like, why is this so complicated? Can't it be more straightforward? Well, one of the devices that came up several times was any device from the company Pluggable that featured the Display Link technology. So finally, I coughed up about 50 some dollars for this one. Uh, and this one does work. So this is my third monitor over here. Okay, so just backing up for a second. For monitor number one, you can use just a regular USB-C to HDMI connector and you'll be fine. If you want a second one, then you need to get a DisplayLink compatible adapter. And, and since I've tried a couple and the others didn't seem to work, uh, this is the cheapest one, and I would recommend this, pluggable. Now, this one just runs off of the power of your computer. There's other ones um, that also have external power that are more complicated hubs, and so you could do that. In my case, I'm just using it for the external monitor. I could buy like a $300 version, uh, more expensive versions, and they would have multiple connectors on it. For me, uh, I just have one of these other adapters, which I'm using as my hub for my USB. Um, connections and, and things like that, plus the HDMI on there. So, oh, I mean, it is important to consider that when you're using these new MacBooks, unlike my last MacBook where I have four USB-C connectors, I only have two. So because of that, something has to be um, a hub. So if you get a cheap hub and if you get with a built-in HDMI connector and you get just the external monitor connector with pluggable, that's probably about the cheapest way that you could possibly do it, and that's a good thing. Okay, so uh, it's not exactly as simple as just plugging it in. The other thing that you have to do is you have to install a program called DisplayLink. So you see it right there. It says it's DisplayLink compatible. And if I go onto my computer, if you can see this here, there's a little icon there. So you just search the web and you say, hey, install um, Display Link. And once you've done that, then you will get uh, a program running in this little taskbar up here that looks like that icon. And right now you see connection status, monitor detected. All right, let's, wa let's watch what happens if I disconnect this. Okay, and oh, by the way, um, this thing is just a standard USB connector. So, delightfully, uh, you have to have a USB to, I think this is called USB-A uh, connector and uh, connect that to your new adapter. Okay, anyway, now I come over here and it says no monitor detected. But if I plug this in and pull it on right there, and then plug it back in there, it will be fine. Okay, there is one up, uh, okay, sure, okay, change to monitor detected. There is one last thing that you may have to do, and that is give this thing uh, permission. And so this, this uh, program, if I go under system preferences, and if I go to, oh boy, this is gonna mess up my video. I think it's security, let's see what we got here. All right, and then we've got screen recording. Um, I had to go down there and unlock that and then add display link manager 
as a program there. So I think that's also a required step. So if you do all of those things, it's relatively simple and it works. So it's almost plug and play, but not quite. You just have to get the right adapter, install the program, give it a permission, and you are done. As I understand it, if you get a more expensive adapter, um, you may be able to support, you know, more, even more monitors externally. But at least for my purposes, this is great. Uh, if you have one of those little lunchbox devices, the, uh, the Mac minis, uh, they already support a couple out of the box, a um, couple monitors out of the box, but uh, you still have to get a device like this to support even more monitors. I hope that helps you. I hope that simplifies things for you as it did for me. Have a great day.